We are doing some more shop modifications. You're gonna see that the shop has uh, changed quite a bit here. We've done a lot of moving around. Can you believe this was just 10 months ago? Wow, what a change. Mainly for some new equipment and uh, if making the area more efficient. Finally got this little Smithy uh, three-in-one. I've been wanting one of these for myself for quite some time. Uh, quite an upgrade with uh, digital readouts, so pretty excited about that. And originally I was gonna do kind of a machine shop area in the big garage but decided that I can make it fit in here uh, man this is just coming along fantastic isn't it so lots of moving and making room for things and one of the things I had to move was this grinder spence grinder here and the I usually just had it always facing outside and as I was grinding or whatnot the dust wasn't an issue and this does have its old two tools has dust collection ports and so I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and make Kind of a do-it-yourself dust collection area but i'm going to kind of step it up a notch i'm going to mount a vacuum on the wall here you'll see run some piping along here with some clean outs and have a hose here that will allow me to vacuum up chips and crap from that and then also from the drill press and be able to reach this whole bench in this area so pretty excited about that i'll put a list uh, below for all the products that i use everything that it took to uh, make it happen cheap twenty dollar uh vacuum there uh, with a wall mount that was something I thought was great because I could take it off the wall and go use it you know out on a vehicle or whatnot somewhere else in the shop why don't we get started I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of start machining things up and uh, it'll be fun to uh, practice on the lathe here as far as uh, what I'm gonna do to make some uh, fittings match up because none of this is really off the shelf bolt it together when you're doing it yourself and how you're gonna make it all work so let's get going all right, friends, I think I've got a good system uh, laid out here. I've uh, changed it a few times, you know, as we always do during the fabrication process. But I'm going to go from my little wall-mounted uh, vacuum, and I'm going to use the factory hose that came with that vacuum because it has a, of course, some oddball fitting in here where <clears throat> none of your standard just inch and a quarter lines were going to work with this. So really want to be able to take this off the wall and use it in other places. I mean, that's the whole point of it is being really convenient. So this hose that came with it, I want to be quick to detach. And what I found is from these inch and a quarter fittings that thread on to that hose pretty good. And it's actually in my initial test fit without any sealant. It's still creating a lot of suction. I don't feel like I'm having any loss. This is the only one that I won't permanently seal. But I have to turn this down because these don't fit in the standard inch and a quarter. So I'll turn these down the lathe. And as I got to thinking about that, you know, I, I said before I wanted to put gate valves in where I could shut everything off except where I'm pulling the vacuum from to give it the most suction, right? Just like your, your big fancy traditional uh, vacuum uh, dust collection systems. And I've got these rubber boots that are going to fit really nice around the, uh, the grinder, if you will. And then these will thread into some hose and since i didn't want to chop that up my system's going to have some more cost than maybe you'll find because these were 20 bucks a piece at the time in 2017 here so what i wanted to do was i got one that i could cut up to basically make some short extensions so that the grinder is kind of flexible and it's not rigid mounted but on these I'll silicone these up so I'll have a really good tight seal along with gluing all the solvent pieces together so I won't have any losses there. And then as I continue on, obviously I'm just going to cut pieces of uh, this inch and a half to the size that I need. And I'll, I'll patch this along and I'm going into this elbow to change directions. And I'm kind of concerned because I'm going to have kind of a long run. This is going to be sitting, you know, quite a ways out here. And I was worried about some of the bigger chunks and machining of getting caught up in there. So I wanted to make a clean out. So I'll cut a little stub piece, have a cap on here. This is another one that I won't seal, but it seems to have a, a really good snug fit. So I'm ready to start making all this uh, fit up. And let's go ahead and build this thing. Can't tell you how excited I am to have one of these uh, Smithies here. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, let alone to find one uh, all set up with a DRO on it. So stay tuned for future videos. We'll be fabricating a lot more here. I'm going to make this crazy fast because this video really isn't about uh, 
how to put PVC pipe together, but you'll see that we did uh, solvent weld all the joints. Now you see I'm going to do a little test fit with the hose there just to verify it's going to fit where I want it to to reach to all the places. You don't want to mess with this later. There's a lot of different approaches you can take to doing fabrication like this. I like to start usually at the end and work my way backwards. Good sharp blade will do wonders on PVC pipe. That first section uh, built up. I'm going to mount this to the block. If you've never drilled into concrete block before, I suggest you watch some videos on it. Uh, it's really a skill. Uh, if, you, if you really want something in a specific spot, you got one shot to do it. Uh, I find this difficult to teach, but uh, leave it loose so you can kind of move it around until you fit up the other pipes there. You'll see when I thread that hose in, I go back and make an adjustment because it's got a kink in it. You, I'll talk about this more in the end, but you really want to put things in in a relaxed position to make them last a long time and work well. I got a hose rack where I could add another extension. Uh, I had a feeling this was going to work so well that I might even want to make it longer and be able to get to further spots in the shop. So, thinking ahead. A little tip I'll give you here is you really got to have your workspace set up so you can really uh, have room to work and get the right angles on the pipes. Once you glue them, if you walk up to the wall and then they're twisted, it's it's going to suck. So I very intentionally set all the flat surfaces down. All right, let's take a look at this uh, setup here. You can see the pieces required for that. Let's go ahead and glue that up to the pipe on the wall, get it secured, and we're getting close. You may have noticed earlier I was going slightly downhill. Now you can see why. I needed to clear those outlets there. One of my real deciding factors in this particular vacuum was the fact that it came with a wall mount. That was super slick, and I thought it would be great to be able to, like I said, grab it and go use it in other places. These rubber coupling reducers sure were slick. That made uh, life really easy. You didn't have to fabricate something up there. And you're going to see I even flipped the hose clamps around. And talk about intention. I mean, I want to think about if I go to work on this in the future and need to tighten something up, I want the hose clamp to the outside where it's easy to get to. In the build list, you're going to see two sets of uh, inch and a quarter hoses from ShopVac. And for me, it was really worth it so that I could, like I said, permanently attach those. Uh, this is one of those hoses. Um, it was eight foot long, so those are four foot each, and the, the other kit is the one that's on the uh, outlet side. Before I do a little test run, i got to put my plug in the clean out there. If, if you're a fan of HowToWrench.com, you're going to see this modeled a lot as far as uh, thinking ahead. Had to leave this volume on a little bit here. Check this out. Watch the other hose when I'm putting my hand over there. This thing's really got some great suction. I do some dust first, and it was doing great there. Just kind of also stretching it out, making sure it's uh, getting where I want. But here's that PVC pipe, sucking it right up. Super happy with that. Uh, did a little bit of cleaning on the uh, wire brush. Wasn't really seeing anything. Uh, I'd like a further test on that, to be honest. And then I uh, thought, let's do something heavier. So I got this caked on grease and metal filings. I mean, caked on. Years and years of never being cleaned here. I just bought this used. And uh, it sucked it right up. I was super happy with that. Really felt like I went in the right direction. But we're going to check the bag and see what's in there. You'll see I even kind of start digging in the grease there. And uh, wait till you see what's in the bag here. Uh, super handy to access, by the way. And did a great job. There it is. And then in a second here, I'll show you where I take and uh, show you exactly what's in there. I mean, it got the big metal chunks. It got the metal filings. I mean, it, it just got it all. That was awesome. Look at the mud uh, grease in there, if you will. You can see it picked up big chunks of uh, metal shavings, so I'm super happy with that. Let's take a look at the final product here from the uh, outlet hose here, wall clamp. Just the different fittings that we used for my application. The thinking ahead of time clean out. And you saw how much stuff was making its way to the vacuum. That was great. You can see here all the different valves. So you're only going to want to have one open at a time to maximize that vacuum. I did leave both of those open at the same time and I was pretty impressed with the little vacuum. But I'd like to see some uh, more work before I give it a full heck yeah. There's the vacuum. And then what I really want to show you here now is you can see how those couplers are attached. And at first I tighten those, I'd back them up, take them back off and redo it because you, you always want to be able to not have, notice how my hoses are nice and relaxed. 
They don't have a bend in it. Even the wall unit is intentionally threaded so that it's in a relaxed position. So the very last thing you ultimately want to tighten up is this coupling uh, because you'll thread your hose on the wall, thread your hose in there, get it into a relaxed position, and then tighten that down, and you are done. All right, friends, there we have another episode at uh, HowToWrench.com in the workshop here. And as, as far as tools to Wrench.com, you got to see uh, a bunch of the tools I used today. I'll have the links to all of those in the uh, description down below. Also to uh, uh, the deals that we found on Amazon that will help us. If you decide to buy something, please click those uh, if, you're, if you're needing that tool yourself because it benefits HowToWrench.com on our uh, Amazon account. So uh, it would be a great way to support us. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit that notifications bell to make sure you get all the uh, future videos. And uh, if you have any uh, recommendations, any videos you're looking for, um, please don't be afraid to reach out uh, at the HowToWrench.com website and uh, hit us on the contact page and tell us what you're looking for. If you're uh, needing some one-on-one -on -one assistance, that's another great way to get a hold of us. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be super excited to keep uh, setting up the workshop. i got a kind of a mess to clean up and then uh, finish putting this all away. And you'll see videos in the future of the shop uh, all put back together. But super excited for the new equipment. Uh, and then finally doing a good uh, vacuum system just to clean stuff up quick and fast. I think that's the biggest reason that we don't... We, we tend to have messes in the shop is that we just don't have something readily available to go and quickly uh, clean it up, do something really quick and easy without having to run somewhere. And that's why I think it's a great idea to think about uh, prepping your area, being resourceful. You know, uh, I made the vacuum wall mounted with having uh, another hose so that I could take and grab it quick and, and move on and go do what I need to do. So. Like I said, I think that uh, you'd find it to be a big advantage to, uh, to copy some of these disciplines yourself and keep shop clean and organized, uh, do some great craftsmanship, and uh, as we always say here at HowToWrench.com, keep wrenching and make it a great day.